Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be installing an OWC data doubler in a 15-inch MacBook Pro mid-2009 model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro on a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, close and turn your MacBook Pro over so that the bottom is facing up. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws on the bottom of the MacBook Pro we need to remove. We will be starting with these three as they are longer than the other seven screws. Now lift up on the bottom of the MacBook Pro case until you feel the releases come free. The optical drive is located here. Unplug the data connector here using your nylon pry tool. Now remove this Phillips screw next to the fan. This cable is glued in place, so use your nylon pry tool to carefully unstick it from the optical drive, being very careful not to damage or pull on the cable. Once the cable is loose, slide it to the side a little so that you can get at and remove this Phillips screw. The last Phillips screw we need to remove is located here. To remove the optical drive, use your nylon pry tool to slightly lift one end, then slide the optical drive free of the MacBook Pro. We will need to reuse the hardware from the optical drive on our data doubler. First, pull the data connector gently out of the data doubler and set it aside. Now remove this bracket by unscrewing the two Phillips screws. The OWC Data Doubler can use any 2.5 inch SATA hard disk drive. We will use the much faster and reliable OWC Mercury Extreme SSD. Align the SATA connectors and push the connectors together. Now install the two Phillips screws here to secure the SSD drive to the Data Doubler. Connect the bracket from the old optical drive onto the OWC data doubler using the two Phillips screws. Now plug in the SATA connector you removed from the old optical drive here. Slide the OWC data doubler into the MacBook Pro, making sure that it is below the cables and that it lays flat. Lift up on the cable here and use one of the silver Phillips screws that ship with the data doubler in this location. Then push the cable back in place. It should be sticky enough to reseal to the data doubler. Use the other silver Phillips screw that came with the data doubler here. Use the original Phillips screw here. Now plug in the data connector by gently pushing it into place. To close the MacBook Pro, set the bottom in place and push in here in the center to make sure it locks in place. Now replace the 10 Phillips screws, starting with the three longer ones here.
the OWC data doubler and second hard drive are now installed. You can turn your MacBook Pro over, open it, and turn it on.